think it's Jabba here. Give me doing an opening. My first ever premium pack one or volume one Korean booster box. This is a Korean box. That's what they look like. I found this over on eBay. I was just kind of searching around and then it gave me a recommendation for this and I, I just had to get it. I mean, look how cool it is. A Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon on it and it's the original premium pack. I kind of forget how many uh, our booster packs are in it in total. I think it's like 20 or something. But yeah, this is super awesome. Super excited about cracking this open. If you are as much as I am, please post a comment below. Like, subscribe for more. If you do, check me in a free booster pack. I mean, that's in the winner in the comments of tomorrow's video. And I have a lot of packaging to do. I have uh, a lot of winners. I'm going to be getting all those packs all shipped out to you guys. So nothing to worry about. And uh, on that, let's get cracking. All right. So let's see how to... So you can open it from the top, but let's get it from the side here, I guess. Oh, these are sick. I've never opened a Korean box or anything like this before, so I just figured it'd be super cool to do. Look how cool these these booster packs are. So premium pack volume one. You know, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Let's see how many packs that we we have here. So we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, so it was 20. Remember, it said something like that in the listing. It's been a little while. Super excited about cracking these open. All righty, so well, let's get our first pack open and see how these, how these look. I don't know if there's like a, an easy pull or something like that to get these open or what the deal is. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, the battle is starting to be won. I see Konami. I see the back of the card. Okay. Oh, cool. The thing that one's called the the tricky, ultra rare. That's nice. Look at that thousand knives, or I think. I know. I don't know all the names. <laughs> So we're basically here for the art of the cards. So I'm all right with how this card is just amazing looking. How cool! There's other just like all ultra rare, I guess, in the in the premium pack for Korea. Look at that! How cool! Yeah, this is neat. I like this. <laughs> Let's try to figure out if there's a if there's a better way to open these up. Maybe from the bottom here. Oh, I didn't even notice on the bottom. That's really cool. That's neat. I like that. Oh, we got a green gadget here. Ultra. It's like a normal ultra, so it's really cool. Harpy's Feather Duster. That's nice. The uh, Silent Swordsman level 7. Ooh, nice. We pulled the cover card. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Wow. Its stats are so beautiful. 4,500 attack, 3,800 defense. Oh, how neat. Dang. That was the car. That was the car we were hoping for right there. <laughs> that is amazing. We're definitely going to keep that thing forever. I actually have a little uh, a collection of binder of foreign cards. I get a bunch of Japanese cards, Korean cards, and stuff. I just, I just keep them. <laughs> I, I enjoy it. Oh, we got a red. So we've got green, red. Now we're just hoping for a yellow gadget here pretty soon. Hopefully, we'll get one in this opening. Oh, Vandilagon and Counter Trap. Uh, monster. Oh, nice! Another Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Cool. I like how they made them all, all of them are ultra rare. It's just something different. And it's a nice, it's a really nice ultra. It's like just its own, just like a normal, normal pack ultra rare. Not like uh, the gold series or anything. You know, you got like gold borders or whatnot. And there it is. We have a yellow gadget. Nice. <laughs> uh, green, red, and then yellow we pulled. Oh, cool. Dang, look at that. Oh, nice. Oh, I think we just got we just got this in the... What was that last set was called? Totally forgot, but uh, Widespread Ruined. <laughs> it's what that card is. And uh, that's uh, the alternate art version, or I, I want to say like the original version of it. And we, when the TCG got it, it was basically, it's like big explosion. So, I don't know. I don't totally know why they decided to do that art and then just one but and we have two arts of widespread ruin now we have the black ritual art 
Oh, nice. Oh, that was a nice combo. Let's go put that together. <laughs> In one pack. How perfect. <laughs> nice. All right, so cruising right along. I don't even know how many packs we're in. I'm just, it's cool seeing all these because like we have our own premium pack and then they had theirs and obviously this is completely different, totally different foiling the way that they look, totally different cards. So Dark Magic Curtain, that's cool. So it's just something different. It's kind of neat seeing all this. I do want to let you guys know, a little uh, sneak preview of what I'll be opening. I, I don't know this month, maybe next month, but I uh, also got a Legend of Blue Eyes box in uh, Korean as well. And that'd be really cool. I wonder if they kept those that set exactly the same as our, as the one we had here in the TCG. That'd be sweet. Pull a, a Blue Eyes out of there. Got a thousand knives there. We already pulled a whole oh, nice, the Red Dark Magician. How cool. Nice, beautiful. My friend Paul's been collecting all the Dark Magicians and I'm I'm gonna assume that I, I don't think I've ever given him a Korean Red Dark Magician. So that'll be nice, add that to his collection of Dark Magicians. Another green gadget, another Harpies Feather Duster. Maybe at some point we'll get it back. Silent Swordsman level seven. And it's one of those, I think combos with the Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, King's Knight. I do believe. Correct me if I am wrong. Yeah, if you guys could post a comment below, let me know what your favorite card was we pulled in today's video. That would be awesome. I do want to be honest with you. These packs are super thick. They are so hard <laughs> to open up. It feels like you're ripping duct tape from the back to try to get them open. Nice, another Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Three Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, another Widespread Ruin. Oh, cool, three of the cover cards. That is definitely a first for the channel, <laughs> pulling multiple of the cover card. I'm always after it, I love pulling the cover card. That is neat. Another yellow gadget here. Maybe we'll get, a, maybe we'll get two a piece or a play set of each, that'd be really cool. Oh, Summoner's Mon, cool. Nice. Now we didn't get a Summoner's Mon Kahlo for a, for a long time. It's a good card, too. Right, somebody goes to a defense position, and then you can discard one spell card from your hand. Plus someone, I think it has to be one level four. I don't think it'll be lower. I think a level four monster from your, your deck. And uh, that monster, I don't think it can attack. It's been a little while. I was running in Elemental Heroes. You did, oh, nice. Doom Caliber Knight. Cool. Awesome anti-meta card. I ran in my anti uh, not anti I ran in my um, hero deck because you can discard a spell and then get Shadow Mist. And then uh, Shadow Mist can add you Mass Change. And then you can go right into Dark Law. Or if you don't want to go into Dark Law, you can uh, you have two level four, so you can go into some cool XYZ play. So pretty toolboxy. I really liked it. The Elemental to Hero decks. Whoa! What's this? You guys seeing this? This is awesome! These have been being pulled. We pulled all these ultras, and we pulled a secret rare. It's like a, it's like a parallel rare secret rare. How neat! <laughs> this is so cool. Wow. I wonder if they just selected just random like a specific card to be secret, or if all these could be a secret rare. Like you know, you open a certain amount of packs or whatever, and any card can come that way. I'm gonna guess no, but maybe. Oh, we got a, a, our first a Parallel Rare Secret Rare out of here. That is really neat. And I had no idea. It's kind of hard to do research on these uh, these Korean sets. And I don't like doing a lot of research on the sets that I'm opening anyway, because I enjoy opening. Yeah. Yeah, look. Yeah, I thought we pulled these. Yeah, so you, you can just, I guess I just randomly select. You can get a, a Parallel Rare Secret Rare. So that must increase the value tremendously. It's definitely going to be very, very difficult to get. Man, that'd be really cool to get a... <laughs> if we would pull the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon uh, Parallel Secret. Man, that is neat. Man, that card there is awesome. I love the way water monsters look when they're secret. Uh, Megalo. All those. Mongolasia. That's a really cool looking card. Yeah, man, that was our... 
Our first one. Neat. Make sure I'm opening from the bottom here. I'm trying to open these things from the top. It just looks like impossible. It literally feels like you're trying to rip duct tape off of something. I don't know if you guys have ever done that. Or maybe really sticky masking tape. That's how it feels. Van Dilligon, our fourth Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Oh, nice! And our very first Crush Card Virus. That's cool. Let's put that right there. That is neat. Four Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragons. And I, I, I'm... I want to guess that maybe you only get one secret rare per box. I wonder if they do this in all the sets. Man, that would be cool if uh, you get get a secret rare out of the Legend of Blue Eyes like that. I wonder if all the secret rares just look like that or it's just, it's just a, an exclusive for the premium pack. Yeah, please post a comment below letting me know if you guys enjoy this Korean opening. And I'll try to get more of these Korean boxes. Uh, like I said, I found them on eBay. I don't remember the, the username. They are in Korea. <laughs> So, it took a little while for the uh, the boxes to get here, but I, from what I've seen, this has been well worth it. This has just been absolutely awesome, seeing all these cards. And obviously they short printed some of the cards, we only pulled one, uh, one crush card. One crush card in our premium pack, and we only got that in, was that Gold Series 3 that we ended up getting crush card in? That was, I believe, when Upper Deck was still in control, that card was severely short printed it, it was three hundred dollars plus like 330 350 dollars for that card just for one card and everyone had to basically everyone had to play it to be like really competitive that card was just so unfair it was a show and jump price card which is uh that's what they used to call them and now they call them ycs it's the same thing essentially and that was the prize card they gave out for a while. They give away Shrink, and Cyberstein, Dust Volska. Pretty cool stuff. Gold Sarcophagus, that was a big sought after one. I saw a guy do a play. A Golden Sarcophagus for a Crush Card Virus. So I, actually, I was sitting right next to him with the show and jump, round one. Actually, it's a uh, Golden Sarcophagus, which then was like a $2,000 card. I was like, Target Crush Card Virus? Just being sarcastic, because Crush Card then was like, Five thousand or fifty-five hundred. No joke. It was five thousand dollar card, and and he is, he looks at me all serious. Charge crush card virus. It puts crush card. I was like, oh my gosh, a seven thousand dollar play. That's how the game used to be. So when people are complaining about how expensive decks are now, I couldn't even imagine it, 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 myself playing a seven thousand dollar. That wasn't even the whole deck. That's just two cards. Two cards in this deck. Seven thousand dollars. This is running these super expensive prize cards craziness and that looks like it so how we we ended up pulling four blue eyes ultimate dragons and we got our one secret rare here and only one crush card virus it's really cool looking but yeah there's our one secret rare. you guys check that out that is awesome and we got our four blue eyes ultimate dragon i'll do a quick go through here of all of our foils that we ended up pulling today and I'm gonna try to get myself on a little bit of a, little bit of a schedule for this month, and then, because the, this month everyone's like really really busy with school. Well, not everybody. Some people are just you know working, doing their normal stuff. But uh, school season's really been making people really busy. So uh, I was just slowing down on the videos just a little bit. So I'm gonna be posting a video uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday for you guys. So still four videos. So just, and uh, I'm really busy too. I'm gonna be getting ready to uh, be doing some. Uh, vending, I'm doing some selling and whatnot over the next event. I'll be making a post on that on Facebook and whatnot. If you guys haven't added me on Facebook, you should add me on there. Post on a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh groups and on my own Facebook and whatnot. So, yeah. So if you guys are going to the San Jose Regionals on May 14th, just check that out and pay me a visit, say hi, check out some of the stuff that I'll have for sale, or or just like I said, just say hi. Love to love to say hi to you guys. And that's it right there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Please post a comment below. Like, subscribe for more. If you do, chance we need a free booster pack. I'll be announcing the winner of the comments of tomorrow's video. And on that, Jobber here is signing out.